Hey, it's Benjamin Sharks. It's Vegas here. Hope you're doing well. And we are going to try our very first Spirit Airlines flight. Are we going to survive the flight to Vegas? Or will this be the worst flight of my life? I have no idea. And hopefully I'll make it through because I got to fly with them back. So let's see how we do. It's the ace of Vegas. The ace of Vegas. Okay, Spinners and Sharks, it's no surprise that Spirit Airlines is considered one of the worst airlines of all time. It's criticized for its small chairs, its nickel and diming policy, and most importantly, how proud it is of being a lousy airline. So you may be asking, Ace, why in all of space did you choose them? Well, my curious spinner and slash or shark, it was cheap. We're talking $99 round trip with taxes and fees. No baggage included, so we had to sort that out separately. But it did leave me with a little extra cash to try out a couple extra silly little features of theirs too. Let's see how it goes this time. So the thing about Spirit Airlines is, despite the fact that they advertise ridiculously cheap flights, their flights get expensive quickly. They charge extra for bags, for snacks, seats, basically anything that requires any effort on their part other than flying the plane. This also extends to printing boarding passes, allowing you to carry on a bag, and even having a glass of water. You have to be very precise in your planning, down to even the bag that you pack. Luckily, the one I packed was just the right fit as a personal item, so no baggage fee for me. Perfect. Alright, so here's how it's going so far. I'm already checked in. You can just check in on the app, so you don't need to do the check-in at the counter. Regardless, the lines are still pretty rough over there, and if you need agent assistance, it's going to take you a long time. Now, I got this priority security pass thing, but I don't think it means anything, because we don't seem to have security or priority security here at the Denver airport. So, I'm going to walk over to the North Security Bridge and see if that makes a difference. Okay, here we are. It's bridge security. So, we're gonna be heading down the bridge there. I have no idea what difference this is gonna make, if it's even gonna make a difference at all, but I got the special priority boarding pass thing. Maybe it'll mean more when I'm actually on the plane, but we'll find out. So on a Wednesday at about 1.30, I got through security in something like 13 minutes. It's not too bad. I don't think the priority boarding pass had much to do with it. It just wasn't terribly busy up there. If you uh, ever fly through Denver, especially to Vegas, take the bridge if you can. You can still get to all the concourses, and it dumps you right off in Concourse A, so just FYI. But uh, yeah, but onto the flight. Here we go. Alright guys, two neat things to learn so far, so apparently priority boarding is irrelevant if you're in zone 2 or below because it's all the same line, and also Smash Burger has a bar, so that's a neat thing, but it's mostly just the uh, irrelevancy of the line. As you can see, so uh, pretty solid line ahead of us here, so yeah. Alright, so Minutes and Sharks, here are my immediate first impressions. These trays. What am I supposed to do with this? So we're gonna see if my luck holds out over here. So far, I have some empty seats over here. So I have the trifecta of the armrest, extra leg room, and the window seat. My luck didn't last long. Both my flight there and back from Vegas ended up being full houses. I missed most of the boarding the first time, which seemed to be a massive blob of a line, and apparently so did my co-flyers. You guys should hear what they're saying. <laughs> like, the boarding door is still open if it's too much for you to wear your mask. Everyone's Love this lady. We're all sick of it, but we're still trying to continue to um, comply with the federal mandate. So we Love thank this lady. you for complying with us. Nice. If you can't comply, you can't fly. <laughs>
Okay, we've got some snacks here. And yeah, it might be just a little too much for the tray over here. So that's good enough for, that is basically just good enough for two hands here. That's all it really is. And all this lovely action here was $6. That's before tip and tax and all that. So $6 just for this. And uh, on Southwest, this would have been included basically. The takeoff is indicative of a smaller jet, so certainly you feel the weather around you. But I feel that on a Frontier flight too, so I can't blame Spirit for that. I think the worst of it is probably the communication. We had several delays in our flight getting back to Denver. The delays themselves were weather related, so that can happen to any airline. But the communication was pretty abysmal. They didn't explain the 30 minute wait on the runway after we'd already been boarded and scheduled to take off. And they also didn't bother to tell us that we were going to be circling Denver for 45 minutes until they had already started circling Denver for 30 of those minutes. The crew was likely very overworked and didn't seem empathetic at all with anyone who was missing a connecting flight or a car rental. Very plain language, no pun intended, when you were told to get off the plane. My overall impression of Spirit is that it's bad. But is it the worst airline ever? Probably not, but I certainly won't be flying with them again. My impulse buying turned a $99 ticket into a $125 one, mainly because I like snacks. The saving grace is that it was a short flight there and... <laughs> Well, come on, $99 total round trip? Even pennies for Vegas can't get a flight cheaper than that. If you find yourself forced to fly Spirit, fly Southwest instead. They have seats, and you at least get snacks and bags included in the price. So ultimately, they come out to be roughly the same price anyway, but with better chairs. Ultimately, Spirit earns itself a 2 out of 5. Alright spinners and sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's review and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Have you ever been desperate enough to fly Spirit Airlines to Las Vegas? If so, tell us about your experience. I'd love to hear it in the comments down below. Till next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, and I'm wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva, Ace of Vegas.